Hello, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney. <clears throat> Today we're answering publicly posted questions on avo.com, getting people the answers they need from an employment attorney. All right, here's, here's our question. Is it time to consult a workplace attorney? I am currently getting treatment for my ailing back as I am suffering from spinal stenosis. I'm sorry. Uh, my employer relieved me of my site safety officer responsibilities due to my inability to walk to the work site and perform safety inspections because of the pain it gave me to do so. They provided me with an ATV to use and for a while it helped, but the bumping and rough ride of the ATV aggravated my back problem. I have contacted HR with this issue and they have been responsive up until now. HR seems only interested in if I will require st surgery and if I should require short-term disability. I'm currently using my comp time, sick leave, and vacation while I seek treatment, but this will run out in a couple of weeks. HR said this would not lead to a layoff, but if the treatments don't work and there's a strong possibility that they won't work, there will be a gap in time between when I can get surgery date and short-term disability kicks in. It would seem to me that my employer has already indicated I'm disabled, by relieving me of my job. Okay, so your first question is, is it time to speak to a workplace attorney? Yeah, always. It's always time to speak to a workplace attorney if you're having a workplace problem. And any of us worth our salt should want to um, answer your questions free of charge. Just it's the reality of it, right? Because if you end up having a case later, well, that's an opportunity for us. So we should, we should want to help you for free right now. My recommendation to you would be to go to your doctor and say, listen, can I be accommodated? Can I do this job with an accommodation or not? And if the answer is no, you can't do the job no matter what with any accommodation, then maybe you are disabled, maybe you can't work, right? Uh, and, and by disabled, I mean disabled in terms of you should receive disability benefits, right? You already have spinal stenosis, you have a disability, but that disability could be accommodated potentially. That's between you and your doctor and what your doctor says. So you get this list of accommodations from your doctor in a letter form. It's going to be the um, reasonable accommodation letter that your doctor puts together for you. And you take that to the employer. And you say, hey, this is what I need to do my job. This is all hypothetical. I don't know if you can do your job with accommodations. I'm not a doctor and I don't know you. Certainly not your treating physician. But that being said, if you can be accommodated, get this reasonable accommodation letter. Take it to your employer and say, hey, I could do my job with these accommodations. Great. Employer then owes you two things. One, reasonable accommodation dialogue. They have to have a conversation with you about whether or not they can give you these accommodations and whether or not these accommodations are reasonable in the situation, if they can reasonably do this. And then if they don't have the dialogue with you, they've already failed, you have a claim. Or they do have the dialogue with you, but they, but they come back and they say, hey, we can't give you these accommodations. We don't think they're reasonable. Well, they can still be wrong, right? They can be wrong about whether, whether or not something is reasonable accommodation and you might have a claim at that point if they refuse you a reasonable accommodation which is your due under the federal law it's worth noting here i can't advise you about the state laws not allowed I can only advise you about the federal laws so you might need to speak to a local employment attorney about whatever additional rights you might have on a local level okay so that's what i would suggest because it sounds like hr is going dark on you they're just not responding and I mean, that's a kind of a common tactic. They're not going to necessarily go out of their way to help you learn your rights. They're not really there to help you. They exist to help the employer. People forget this sometimes. I'm sure you don't, but people do sometimes. Um, so I would really push, get, go to your doctor, get this reasonable accommodation letter. If your doctor feels you can be accommodated, and then take it into the to the HR in writing, get everything documented, and make your request for reasonable accommodations if that would help you. That's what I would suggest. But yeah, definitely, it's, it's always time to talk to an employment attorney. And we should always want to talk to you free of charge. We should be thrilled to help you. We make money off of people suffering in the workplace. So the least we can do is go out of our way to help some people, whether or not it gets us paid, right? I hope this helps. If it was helpful, consider liking and subscribing 
that helps me help more people just like you.